Hey guys, thanks for checking out Toggle AI. Today I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial on how to change when perks will unlock in game. When you open the creation kit, come to File, Data, double click the Update, and select OK. Whenever you get any of those warning box messages, just select Yes to All. Once you have everything loaded up, you're going to come to Actors and Perk. In this tutorial, we're going to remove perk related unlock conditions in the smithing tree. I'm referring to the perk that you must unlock before being able to select the next one. An example of this is you cannot unlock the advanced armors perk until you unlock the elven smithing perk. In addition to that, you cannot unlock the elven smithing perk until you unlock the steel smithing perk. What could have cost you one perk instead cost you three. Let's go to Advanced Armors. For perk restrictions, we are only concerned with this middle section labeled Conditions. The first condition I am sure you can figure out. It simply says you must have the Elven Smithing perk before this will unlock. The equals 1 in this case is saying the statement before this, which is has perk, Elven Smithing, must be true. If you change it to 0, it would make this statement have to be false to unlock this perk. This would translate to you cannot unlock the Advanced Armors perk if you have already unlocked the Elven Smithing perk, thus making the player choose between the two. Though you would also need to add a similar condition to the Elven Smithing perk. And means you must have both of these conditions. Has perk Elven Smithing and a Smithing skill at 50 or above which is what this second condition means. By double clicking on conditions, you can easily edit them. If you want to make advanced armors available at 30 smithing, you double click, change the number to 30, and select OK. If you want to make it so you only need one of these conditions and not both, you will open up each condition and select the box marked OR, then click OK. To create a completely new condition, right click in the conditions box and select new. Finally, if you want to delete a condition, right click on it and select delete. This is how we'll remove perk related unlock conditions from the smithing tree. Go to each perk, right click the condition pertaining to the perk requirement and delete it. When you have finished all of them, click Save and name your new mod. I use the console to level a new character to 100 smithing. As you can see, all perks are available without having invested a single perk. I can go directly to any perk I want. That's all there is to it. Hopefully this gives you a base understanding of perk unlock conditions. You should now know enough to be able to tweak any perk mods that you use to create your own customized personal patch. Perhaps you use a lot of hardcore combat mods and feel a perk should unlock earlier. Well, now you can make that happen. Thanks for watching. You can help me grow my channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. You can also click the image on screen now to watch my first creation kit tutorial. Thanks again, and have a good one.